Welcome back to Vaxillarius. Allow me to introduce myself, I am the new narrator for these analysis videos and today we will be discussing the rebel faction known as the Men in Red and its history itself. Let's continue on forward. The Men in Red was a rebel faction in City 17 and it was founded by Sheik and Chark around in the early times of 0.5 to 0.6. The Men in Red was a notorious rebel faction in City 17 gaining over hundreds of members within its movement. The Men in Red were skilled in infiltration and espionage and especially guerrilla warfare within the city itself as they import illegal contraband throughout their ranks commonly led by high-ranking officers of the rebel organization. It is commonly known that the Men in Red wraps the standard loyalist uniform with red hair as well a dark skin tone which signifies that these members used to be loyalist representatives before going rogue and forming their own rebel organization. The Men in Red largely coordinates its raids and infiltration of City 17 as well recruitment of new recruits willing to enlist within in their organization, commonly training the recruits in combat, leadership, communications, and guerrilla warfare. As operations in the city had became violent in the streets as civil protection teams struggles to keep the peace from the men in Red's presence and overgrowing army of rogue loyalists. This was the destined legacy of the men in Red and their prime as they went guns blazing in glory and veterans of the men in Red had became respected for resistance against the Universal Union and aspiring many others to stand with them united as they stand as they stand united as they fall until their dying breath. The Men in Red shut down in the year of 2022 due to activity issues in City 17 0.6. And the constant delay of the promise that was 0.7. The major update to City 17 is it never came. Most of the remnants of the Men in Red Command and remaining members of it either had integrated into new rebel factions or either vanished in the dust that will be known as history. It is unknown if the men in red and remnants of what is left of it will ever make a comeback in 0.7. As the men in red will live on in glory and for honor they will stand by for their banner and will always be remembered a rebel figure of what was left in history. That is a brief and short analysis of the men in red and the main factors of their legacy and what was left in remnants of their rebel faction. If you have any recommendations on what topic or rebel faction I should cover next please comment down on the comment section below. This has been Vexillarius signing off.